Food Trends TV. I'm Everyday Innovator Dana McCauley and today I want to talk to you about fermented soft drinks, specifically kombucha and kefir, which are super fun to say uh, and are trending up in a very, very fast order. In fact, since 2010, both of these items have had double digit growth in the uh, functional beverage uh, space. So why are people wanting to drink these uh, naturally fizzy drinks? There's a couple of reasons. Uh, they are touted for being high in probiotics, for boosting our immunity and for detoxifying our bodies. Science hasn't done a lot of work to verify these claims, but they do have history on their side. In fact, kefir has been made in Northern Russia for thousands of years. And um, that's where this whole hook comes from. These drinks are tied either loosely or very tightly to the paleo diet. So what's next for kombucha and kefir? I think you're gonna continue to see kombucha follow its path that it's on and, and remain a tea-based beverage. Whereas uh, kefir is a little more flexible. We're seeing things like uh, Anne Payne's Caveman Water, which is basically a naturally carbonated drink that is targeted at people who are either on the paleo diet or love um, drinks like soda, but don't want to drink soda anymore. They want to drink something they feel better about. And uh, we're also seeing like Greek kefir uh, yogurt pots and all kinds of other uh, things like uh, smoothies, etc., made with kefir. I'm going to be honest with you, I actually don't like kefir or kombucha. I would much prefer to drink a regular glass of milk or a regular iced tea, but I know a lot of you disagree. So tell me in the comment section below what I'm missing and uh, maybe you can change my mind. As well, if you haven't already subscribed to Food Trends TV, I hope you will before you click away.